Hey guys, uh, I'm Davina, and this is my friend Michelle, and she's back, and we're doing part two of questions we're gonna ask each other in my game room. In our game room, <laughs> there's so many. I love your place, by the way. It's such a great place. It's so much I like fun. It. We could play pool if we wanted we're play to, pool. or um, whatever else is back here. Anyway, uh, we're gonna ask each other some questions. Um, you are the guest, so I'm going to let you go first. You Got can it. ask me anything. Okay. If you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? Yes. Okay, I that think was so. fast. I think so, yeah. I know, I, mean, I agree 100%. I don't, I mean, I would want to be a friend with me. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Do you have any special talents? I do. She has many. I can beatbox. Oh my god, can you? Please. I can drum. I can play piano. I can make my eyes go two different directions. Oh my god, <laughs> yes! Oh. Um, I can scuba dive. I don't know if that's a special talent. No, but, but that's cool. I've never done that before. <gasps> you swam with sharks. I swam with great white sharks. I don't I don't know if that's a hidden talent, but <laughs> I don't know, but that's freaking cool. It just popped into my head when you said scuba. So I would say that's about it. But that wraps it up. Can you beatbox on the no. spot a little bit? Okay. Maybe fine. next video. Damn it. Tune in to next video Damn to it. see me beatbox. Okay, right. fine. Your question. Okay. What did you want to be when you grow up? What did I want to be? I wanted to be a film director, screenwriter. You still could totally be a film director. Well, I know, but you asked me that question. <laughs> so I answered. <laughs> True. At this point, I just support a lot of indie films. Um, oh, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Oh. You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. I can ask another question. Um... I will say that I do get lost in the YouTube wormhole. I do. Uh, yeah. More often. That's a freaking rabbit you hole. You know, what's so interesting to me is I literally have TV, cable, Netflix, Amazon, HBO, Hulu. Hulu oh, you name it. Same. And sometimes I find myself like two hours into a YouTube wormhole. Yes. So I do appreciate YouTube subscribers. I think it's hard work. Thank you for letting me come on your show. Thank and, you for being um, here. It seems like a lot of work, and I'm super impressed by people who genuinely do it. Not only just do it, but, like, do it with being genuine, authentic. Like, I would think that would be hard. Not really. I think you could do it. Hmm. I think you could totally create your own YouTube channel. I'd have my followers follow you. Oh, thanks. I would ask them. I would ask them, like, to do, do me a solid <laughs> and do follow you. Do me a solid. Very cool. All right. Let's see. Ooh, I'm going to ask you this. I literally just made it up. Okay. Are you a Harry Potter fan? I am. I okay. did not read the books, though. No, I that's just fine. watched the movies. But, but this I... is, it's what's so funny is in my office, like, this is a question. What house do you think each person belongs to? Oh, what, do you want to try and guess which house mm -hmm. I would be in? Mm hmm Okay. Um, I'm going to say Gryffindor. Okay. What do you think for me? Ravenclaw. So interesting. Definitely a Slytherin. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Plot Why? twist. Yeah. I mean, okay. I can kind of see it. I mean, I do. I, think, I mean, I think Ravenclaw, Slytherin. But I think like Slytherin, maybe because of your looks. But yes. Ravenclaw, because you're smart. Appreciate that. I think Gryffindor. Isn't that it? What are you? I I feel like I would be Gryffindor for sure. Because I'm such a goody goody. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Tell me one of your bad habits. Oh. Um, one of my bad habits, I fall in love way too fast. Gotcha. Like, I don't think it's a habit because I've tried to be way more not because I've been hurt too many times. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, it was, yeah, I just fall in love way too easily. That is a bad habit. It is, well, it is when you keep getting your heart broken. That is a bad habit for sure. <laughs> like, it's hmm. horrible. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, do I get to ask a question? You, to, you know what? I think I'll let her ask a question now, considering I've asked about three. So, 
I'm sure that's how the game works. But. Um, ooh, this is a good one. I think I know the I would know the answer to this, but how would you describe your fashion sense? Ooh. Like, equate it with a celebrity. I don't know if I could equate it with a celebrity, but I will say my fashion sense is very different depending on what I'm doing. Um, for instance, when I work, very preppy, but with mm -hmm. an edge a little bit. Oh, totally. When I'm yes. not working, I'm very band t-shirt, leather pants, um, still with heels, don't get me wrong, but... <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but very edgy, fun, that's kind of my... Yeah, my fashion sense, for sure. Because, um, well, I mean, you're such a rock and roller. I do have, I mean, my few collection of dresses that I definitely wear and stuff like that, but my go-to would definitely be a pair of leggings, leather jacket, Biker boots. call it a day. Boots or heels, for sure. I can totally see that. Call it a day. All right. All right. You ask. Ask me anything. All right. I'm an open book, <laughs> obviously. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Who are some of my favorite YouTubers? Um, well, I'm just going to say um, a lot of them are, well, they, I've been watching a lot of reactors, obviously, because of I find my, that so interesting. It is interesting. I never thought I would be a YouTube reactor. Um, believe me, I didn't think that was what my ch channel was going to end up being. Right. Um, but then I, you know, with Jeremy and the way we would always like talk about TV shows, I was like, let's just react to some shows. Cause we talk about these shows and I think what we say is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. No, um, for sure. But I do love Julie DG. She's like, I consider her a friend, but she just has some of the best lines. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know who she is. She's a, a reactor. Um, but she's so generous too. Like she's so sweet and nice. Um, let's see. I also like watching... Kind of TV. Hmm? <laughs> like, sorry. I think people, that's pretty obvious, probably. Scary movie or happy endings? Oh, happy endings. I can't do horror. Really? They know that. I can't do scary movies. So what's interesting is I don't like new scary movies by any means. Oh, no. I think they, I just can't personally handle it. Old scary movies, love. Okay, I'm on board with you on that. Old like Nightmare movies. on Elm Street, mm -hmm. the original. And the old ones and the black and white. Mm -hmm. And most of the old scary movie films had comedic relief in it. Right. So I loved that. What's one of your old school like horror movies that you really enjoyed? Is it embarrassing? Yes. Next okay. question. <laughs> All right. I will find that answer She will out find out and put it camera. in the comments. Are you named after anyone? So my name is Michelle Elizabeth. Last name to be blank. But you can actually figure out my last name. It stands for, like... Yeah. And they don't know my last name, either. Oh. Like, they don't know where I live. Mysterious. Although, you could probably figure it out if you really wanted to. So, Michelle Elizabeth, I'm named after my great-grandmother, who was diagnosed with breast cancer at a really young age. Aww. And she survived it, which in the 60s was a huge That's accomplishment. That's insane, yeah. So, I love that I'm named after her because she's such a powerful and strong woman. And for her to be around in that time and survive without, like, the medical advancements that we have now, I find so interesting and inspiring. Mm -hmm. And then I now serve on a board of a breast cancer foundation. And last year we donated a large amount of money to our community mm -hmm. for mammograms for underinsured and non-insured patients and wow. then research and trials at a large hospital. So awesome. I live by her. She's no longer with us, but mm -hmm. I live by her and I live through her and how powerful she was as this just like super independent, strong woman. And so I love that I'm named after her. My sister's name is Elizabeth. Very cool. Yeah. Um, it's a good name. Uh, hi, well, you already know the, the, you already know my name story. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to go there. Got it. <laughs> Got it. It's very detailed. Okay. Don't want to go into it. When is the last time you cried? Oh, wow. When was the last time I cried? Probably the last breakup I had. Breakups are never that fun. Was, that one broke me, actually, a little bit. Yeah, but look how much 
cooler you are now and better for it. For sure. You know what's interesting is I really try to live my life by this, and it's just perspective. Literally. I live my life by perspective of every situation I go into, and I was telling you this today earlier when we were eating dinner, that any situation you face in life, whether it be a breakup or whatever, change your perspective for Mm -hmm. five seconds. Like, literally think about the situation that you're in and change your perspective for five seconds and find out how you can learn from that. And that's something that I genuinely try to live by is changing your perspective. So, Yeah. No, I mean, it was a bad relationship Mm -hmm. all the way around. It probably should not have happened. Been there. I think I was emotionally – wanted up – I was emotionally weak because I literally had just gotten out of a long-term relationship. So Mm -hmm. it was kind of a rebound, but it wasn't a rebound, if that makes any sense. No, sure. Um, Because the previous relationship was kind of falling apart, and I'd stayed too long. It was one of those deals. Because, again (laughs) – I tend to trust people, and then I give them way more time, and then I always give them the benefit of the doubt, and, like, literally second to third chances. Yeah. And... That's rough. um, But I learned a really good lesson that it takes more than love to make a relationship work. It does. Um, As much as I want to have the happy ending and the Hollywood romance and all of that, I learned through that relationship it's not... It doesn't, it's not realistic. Mm -hmm. Um, There just needs to be more than that. And then the second relationship just kind of like really made that known. So, yeah. But yes, I did learn a lot from that. I learned boundaries. That's, I have boundaries now. Boundaries are important. I, it took me a long time to make boundaries. I have a good one. Okay. Even though it's your turn. Okay. How tall are you? How tall am I? Oh my God. I'll go if you go. Um, I'm 5'1". Me too. No. <laughs> She's not. You are, can I guess? Guess. How tall you are? Um, I think you're 5'9". I'm a solid 5'8". Oh, I was close. I was close. Legs for days. You, yes. All right. For sure. What else? I think that wraps it up. I think it does too. I think that's a lot of We've information. Gotta go. Watch Winona. Well, she is. I have She's to wait. Allowed. She's going to wait for her video. She rubs it. You text me. I do. I do. She texts me. This is how. <laughs> it's not mean, but it's kind of mean. I don't mean to be mean. You don't I give me spoilers, excited. but you mm. get so excited. I don't mean to be mean. I just get super excited. Okay. Yeah. And you appreciate it as much as I appreciate it. I do. It. Thank you so much for letting me join you on these Thank channels you. the last couple of videos. It's yeah. been so much fun. Thanks for coming to hang out in my clubhouse. <laughs> Mikasa is su casa. Thank you. It's been fun. Cheers. Um, that's it for now, guys. If you like this video, please like us. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think of Michelle. Yeah. She honestly gave a lot of her time tonight. I appreciate it. Um, of her, I appreciate her giving her time to us. Thank so, you. I had so much fun. Here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. Yeah. Let me know if you guys want her back. I'll have to bring buy her some more wine. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm Davina, and this is my friend. Michelle. And she's back, and we're doing part two of questions we're going to ask each other. In my game room. In our game room. <laughs> There's so many. I love your place, by the way. It's such a great place. It's so much I like fun. It. We could play pool if we wanted to. play pool. Or um, whatever else is back here. Anyway, uh, we're going to ask each other some questions. Um, You're the guest, so I'm going to let you go first. You can ask me anything. Okay. If you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? Yes. Okay, that was fast. I think so, yeah. I know. I I agree 100%. I don't, I mean, I would want to be a friend with me. (laughs) Uh, Okay. Um... Do you have any special talents? I do. She has many. I can beatbox. Oh my god, can you? Please. I can drum. I can play piano. I can make my eyes go two different directions. Oh my god, <laughs> yes! Oh. Um, I can scuba dive. 
I don't know if that's a special talent. No, but, but that's cool. I've never done that before. <gasps> you swam with sharks. I swam with great white sharks. I don't I don't know if that's a hidden talent. But... <laughs> no, but that's freaking cool. It just popped into my head when you said scuba. So I would say that's about it. But that wraps it up. Can you beatbox on the no. spot a little bit? Okay, Maybe fine. next video. Damn it. Tune in to next video Damn to it. see me beatbox. Okay, right. fine. Your question. Okay. What did you want to be when you grow up? What did I want to be? I wanted to be a film director, screenwriter. You still could totally be a film director. Well, I know, but you asked me that question. <laughs> so I answered. <laughs> True. At this point, I just support a lot of indie films. Um, oh, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Oh. You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. I can ask another question. Um... I will say that I do get lost in the YouTube wormhole. I do. Uh, yeah. More often. That's a freaking rabbit you hole. You know, what's so interesting to me is I literally have TV, cable, Netflix, Amazon, HBO, Hulu. Hulu oh, you name it. Same. And sometimes I find myself like two hours into a YouTube wormhole. Yes. So I do appreciate YouTube subscribers. I think it's hard work. Thank you for letting me come on your show. Thank and, you for being um, here. It seems like a lot of work, and I'm super impressed by people who genuinely do it. Not only just do it, but like do it with being genuine, authentic. Like I would think that would be hard. Not really. I think you could do it. Hmm. I think you could totally create your own YouTube channel. I'd have my followers follow you. Oh, thanks. I would ask them. I would ask them, like, to do do me a solid <laughs> and do follow you. Do me a solid. Very cool. All right. Let's see. Ooh, I'm going to ask you this. I literally just made it up. Okay. Are you a Harry Potter fan? I am. I okay. did not read the books, though. No, I just fine. watched the movies. But, but this I... is it's what's so funny is in my office, like, this is a question. What house do you think each person belongs to? Oh, what, do you want to try and guess which house mm -hmm. I would be in? Mm hmm Okay. Um, I'm going to say Gryffindor. Okay. What do you think for me? Ravenclaw. So interesting. Definitely a Slytherin. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Plot Why? twist. Yeah. I mean, okay. I can kind of see it. I mean, I do. I, think, I mean, I think Ravenclaw, Slytherin. But I think like Slytherin, maybe because of your looks. But yes. 